Her hair had hung over her shoulder Tied up in a black velvet band Tied up in a black velvet band Damn, if it don't rain me out I wanted to teach y'all how to play this very simple, neat old tune called Black Velvet Band. I learned it from a recording of Luke Kelly. Luke Kelly was a great Irish banjo player out of Dublin, Ireland. Played a big, long neck, five string banjo, had his own crazy style. I really encourage you to look up Luke Kelly. He was a great musician, great guy. He died in the 80s, I believe right before I was born. Unfortunately, I was born in 85. I think he died in 83. Poor guy. But it's very simple. Now, before we get too carried away and forget all about it, we gotta take a minute and discuss the history of this song. I learned it from a recording of Luke Kelly. Yes, that's true, but there are many recordings of Black Velvet Band. Um, and there are many, many more printed versions going back all the way to the early 1800s. Some people, uh, I've heard some people say that it goes back to the 1780s, 1790s. I, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe that, there's, that could be true. There are versions that go that far back. But the little piece of evidence that I'm going to use to date this song to early 1800s is the mention of a little place called Van Diemen's Land. Now, Van Diemen's Land is old-timey English talk and Dutch talk for what we now think of today as Tasmania. Tasmania is that little island all the way on the bottom of Australia. If you go all the way to Australia, all the way across Australia, hop in a boat and keep going, you hit Tasmania. But way back in the 1800s and the 1700s and the 1600s, they called Tasmania Van Diemen's Land, named after some guy named Van Diemen. So in the song, he says they ship me, you know, um, I, the next thing I knew, uh, I'd landed in Van Diemen's Land. And that's what they keep on talking about. They're going to send him for seven years of penal servitude far away from the land. He has to go to Van Diemen's Land because this girl uh, stole a watch and planted it on him, basically. So that's the history behind the song. We know it's at least early 1800s, maybe goes back to the 1790s, 1780s, but it's a very old song. And uh, the earliest printed versions, they talk about England and how he was in London and stuff. L late, later versions, they, they changed the locations up to Belfast and other places like that. So who knows where it actually actually happened, but uh, anyhow, that's the history. So I've got my old Terry Bell minstrel banjo reproduction here. All you want to do is tune your banjo to G, C, G, B, D. <laughs> with me and it's just like three chords so your first chord is like this which is a C chord so that gives you a C chord old Eddie Haggard up in Kentucky called this two finger C this tuning two finger C because you got to put two fingers down to make a C chord and then all I'm doing is I'm striking the bass string and it's a, it's a waltz time, 3-3 three, three, or 3-4, three, whatever it is, waltz tuning, so, or waltz tune, so it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, I think that's 3-4. Most banjo tunes are 4-4. Four, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so this is a three count rhythm. If you're more comfortable picking, you can do, or you can do, any number of ways you can accomplish a waltz rhythm on a banjo. So it's it's that first chord in a neat little town they call Belfast. I don't know what that is. That must be a D chord. I think you go from C to D. And then your other chord is you just you drop the rest of them, you bring your middle finger over on the bass string. So this is a G chord. And I'll show you that other that other wacky chord. 
looks like this. Folks, it's raining. I'm going to get the hell out of here. tab for this check out this link up in the corner they'll take you to patreon.com slash clifton hicks we'd love to have you there you get the tab for this and every other song that you see me teach here i'm getting the hell back in the house <laughs>